And I'm about to show you what I did to the above ground pond. There's three of them. We are here at my local, wait, what? There's water in there? So I think I'm gonna pull the trigger. The tanks are immaculate. A giveaway for you guys. So many of them. Go. Hey, na hallelujah, I'm Maui. Hello, baby, baby. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back at it again. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha. Welcome. This channel is all about having fun with aquatics. Yeah, we talk about ponds, fish, aquariums, local fish door tours, every and anything you could think about in the hobby of aquatics. That's what we do on this channel. But of course, you know, your boy adds his own little flavor to it. So let's get right into this video. Check it out. This is Tiki Falls, the pond I created. This is one side of the pond. It has a little channel and it goes to the other side of the pond here. We have a waterfall spillway right over there, which is a filter right under those two flat stones. And on the other side, we also have another waterfall spillway right back there behind the Tiki. You can kind of see it. One day I'll go over the filtration with Tiki Falls. It's about a thousand gallons. You can see some of the Koi are actually coming up right now. I have about 12 koi in this pond and about three goldfish, four goldfish to be exact. Let me see if we can get a shot of my blind Shibukin goldfish. He is beautiful. He's over here on this side. He was born with no eyes. He's completely blind. There he is right there. He'll come up surface. He's actually probably looking to eat. Where is he at? There he is. No eyes, completely blind and he's such a beautiful shibukin goldfish i actually have a video about him i'll leave a card up above click that card and check out the video it's when i get him for the first time oh so beautiful such a stunner to the colors on this shibunkin goldfish and he actually looks like a koi you would see him and think oh my gosh is that a koi nope he is a huge shibunkin goldfish with some beautiful beautiful colors black and red white awesome in this pond also gold cloud minnows and white cloud minnows you can kind of see the gold cloud minnows they kind of stand out in the water but the reason why i'm out back here is i got to show you guys something and i'm about to show you what i did to the above ground pond i'm not messing around i can't wait i want to get this thing up and going so what i'm going to do ah, let me just show you all right, so here is the Predator Pond. I know guys, you're thinking, wait, what? There's water in there? I actually filled it up about halfway. You know, all the plants that were dying because of the Prosecol Cat 5, I actually put them in the pond. I actually fertilized every single plant. I put the all-in-one filter. It's right over there in the corner. You might be wondering what in the heck is a all-in-one filter? I'll show you exactly what it is. This is the all-in-one filter right here it has everything you need you just plug and play it has the pump it has a uv sterilizer it has biomedia in it it's got a sponge for mechanical i have a huge bag of media that i got from tiki falls so as far as uh this pond being cycled it probably has about 200 gallons of water it's ready to go so i have the pond hose running behind the crates you can see it right there it comes around pretty long it comes around behind this crate and it is you can see the water agitation that's where the water's coming out so it's basically just cycling water gets sucked down through a big sponge and it exits the hose over here on this side of the pond oh yeah let me show you what filter i'm using well, here it is the gretch i believe that's how you say it uv fountain pump cuff series it's all in one there you go it's almost like a little like box filter i would say but it's got a uv sterilizer in there a pump it's got your mechanical filtration biomedia and that's it you plug it in and it starts sucking through the vents right there and it exits the hose, which you can see they have the elbow right there, but they don't have a hose. Um, but there you go. I bought that hose. It's just a cheap hose that I think I got at, I believe it was at Home Depot. Anyways, so this is the filter. I want to give you a heads up why I am doing this. I'm going to put some fish in here. Now that we don't have the bog filter on the back and we're redoing it, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, go check out the last video. We had a big bog filter 
on the edge here my buddy Dennis built it's a beautiful bog filter all of these plants were in the bog filter matter of fact I'm actually gonna put the playlist up above click on that you'll go check out the entire playlist of how we actually created this above ground pond. The reason why I put the plants in here is I'm gonna try to get these guys back to life. Tiki Falls, my pond over there, I cleaned out the filter mats over the filter. That way, this pond is pretty much cycled. So you can see like a little bit of the remnants here at the bottom. This water is crystal clear because I just added it. And we dechlorinated the water with, of course, Aquascape maintained for ponds. That way, this water is ready to go for fish. Now, all of the mats that I clean from Tiki Falls are definitely going to help fertilize these plants on top of plant fertilizer that I put in here too as well. So we're ready to go. I think I want to go down and get some fish, see if they last. Now, if they die, then we know there's something going on with the PVC liner that is here in the above ground pond. But I'm pretty sure this PVC liner is not leaching any type of toxic chemical in the water. I'm almost positive. Maybe I might feel in the mood to buy a little koi or two. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna surprise you guys with what we're gonna get. Now, I know some of you guys may be thinking, where is the bog filter at? Why don't you have it on there? Well, the truth is Dennis took it with him home so he could apply the proper coatings of pond armor. It's gonna be like a three day, four day process. He wants to make sure it is perfectly sealed to his standards. In the next video, we build it. We actually put one coating of pond armor on it. And then my boy Dennis takes it away. He'll bring it back like probably weeks later because his schedule is swamped right now. So when he brings that back, it'll be done. It'll be finished. We'll install it all in one video, okay? So just sit tight, guys. You guys don't want to miss that one. Okay, so before we hit the fish door, I want you guys to do me a favor, especially you guys that are new to the channel. Just hit that subscribe button for me, all right? Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. It's called a notification bell. Click that bell too. turn it on. It's just going to notify you when I upload a new video. Then you're part of the Ohana. And don't forget, guys, please, for the sake of the channel, hit that like button too. I really appreciate it. Now, let's teleport to the fish store with a Hawaiian punch. I'll see you guys in a second. Boom! We are here at my local PetSmart. Now, I haven't been at this PetSmart in ages, but they kind of redid their whole aquatic section, and I'm loving the way it looks. So, let's go check out to see what they have here. But not only that, though, I think I have an idea on what I want to get. They have a nice little hermit crab set up here. I'm digging it. They have, oh, they even have some red claw crabs in here. They're all hiding, they all got skittish and ran away. Ooh, look at, we have a red ear slider. Oh, very cool. Here we go, wow, they never had red ear slider tiger, uh, slider turtles here, 25 bucks. So that's what I meant by, they totally upgraded the aquariums too, I like the setup. They totally redid them. This whole area is nice and clean, check it out. It is super, super clean. The tanks are immaculate. Ah, oh, love them, love them. I'm super impressed, PetSmart. I gotta say, there's a lot of people out there that bash PetSmart, but I'm super happy on the way my PetSmart here looks. Ooh, this is what I really wanna see. Ooh, check that out right there. Nice little red devil action. Oh, that's a beautiful one too. And they have some Oscars here too as well. The setup is awesome. Look at, they have like the sand substrate. I'm really digging out, I'm really digging out. They got their blood parrots, African cichlids here. Ooh, check out this, oh, I like this, look at this. Look at this peacock right here, look at the colors on him. Whoa. I'm digging out on this OB. It's a beautiful OB. Man, if I had an African cichlid tank, I would totally get that bad boy. But yeah, ooh, here's another red devil. I don't know if you guys know this, but let me let you in on a little secret. My Midas cichlid renovation, some of you guys may be familiar with it. I actually got it here at this PetSmart and he's actually grown up to be a beautiful, humongous, thick Midas cichlid. But not only renovation, I've actually bought quite a few fish from this PetSmart that grown up to be beautiful fish, healthy fish, no problems at all. So just giving you guys a heads up. Don't go out there bashing PetSmart, all right? They actually provide a lot for us in the hobby. Oh, check out the variety of koi they have here, guys. I've never bought a koi. 
from PetSmart. Should we uh, maybe test the waters and get ourselves a koi? This is, these koi right here are pretty nice size for $15.99. Pretty big size. Maybe we'll test the waters and get in a, a koi here. They have some butterfly koi, some of my favorite koi ever, the butterfly koi. Look at these guys. They look extremely healthy. Ooh, right next door to them, the electric blue Akaras. Nice. Oh, uh, with some Picus catfish. Super active catfish. But these bad boys here, I love me some electric blue Akaras. These are nice. Maybe we'll get the one that we have at home, a friend. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Ooh, check out the Bolivian Rams. Oh, beautiful selection. Oh, look at this one right here in the back. Look at the colors on this one. This guy is displaying some major color action. The Bolivian Rams. Oh, look at right next door to these guys. There's three of them. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. I love these. These, You know, these goldfish right here, these are actually called Sarasa Comet goldfish. Sarasa. You know what? This is for Sarasa. This is for the Rasa. Shoot, maybe we just pick up these three and put them in uh, the above ground predator pond. Well, I should just call it the above ground pond because there's nothing predator in there right now. <laughs> hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and get 25 of these. There's so many of them. Oh, these are a little bit bigger. I like these. We actually did some damage. We're gonna go back home float the fish, release them into the above ground pond, and uh, see what happens. So with some uh, YouTube teleportation and uh, a Hawaiian punch out, I'll see you guys back at the house. <gasps> Boom, just like that, we are home behind me, the above ground pond, where we have fish in the pond acclimating right now as we speak. I can't wait because it's going to look epic once they all get released and there is a bunch of them. Now I know some of you guys are probably saying you should have just waited till the bog filter was done. I just couldn't, you know why? It's because I'm All right, my Ohana, you know I cannot end this video without giving a huge shout out to one of the biggest supporters of my channel, Island Silver Crowns. Check out this beautiful crown that they made. Oh my gosh, it is my first custom signature crown. Around here we call them crowns, you guys may call them hats. I got some even better news. On my way home, I stopped off, checked the mail, and there was a box in there from Puna, Hawaii, the big island. This is actually where Island Silver Crowns is located. I opened the box, and guess what? <gasps> Boom, check out these two beautiful custom signature crowns, yeah. Look at the colorway though, are you kidding me? The purple and the teal? Oh, Island Silver Crowns, they outdid themselves on this. And I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to keep them for myself. But you know what I decided to do, Ohana? Because I love you guys so much, we are going to do a giveaway. That's right, a giveaway for you guys. We have two giveaways. The first giveaway is gonna be on Instagram. So those of you guys that have an Instagram account, you guys are gonna benefit from this. And if you don't have an Instagram account, go get an Instagram account. So you have to follow me on Instagram and you have to follow Island Silver Crowns on Instagram. See that picture? Study it. Go to my Instagram account, Hawaiian Fish Keeper, and Island Silver Crowns. Comment hashtag crown on both of our posts, and you have to tag three people. Everybody who does that, I'm gonna enter you into that drawing, and I will announce the winner on Instagram in a week. So, the person who wins the first giveaway will have a choice, teal or purple. You have a choice, and then that second one, I will give that one away on my 20,000 subscriber bonanza live stream. Stay tuned, I'm gonna actually pick the winner on my Instagram story. I'll probably tag you in the story too so you know you won, and then you have 24 hours to claim your prize by direct messaging me, okay? And once you direct message me, it's over. But if you don't in 24 hours, I'm gonna pick a new winner and I will let everybody know if I do. So that's it, the Island Silver Crown giveaway Again, much mahalo to Island Silver Crowns. Go support a family-owned business. They have the dopest crowns. Like I said, this custom crown that they made for me, ooh, I love it, man. I wear this all the time along with all my other crowns. So if you ever see me wearing a crown in my video or a hat, as you guys would call them, 
it is an island silver crown nothing but the best on my head <laughs> we got 25 comet goldfish and if you look really close right there i had to get one the first ever pet smart koi this is a butterfly koi super small so i went ahead and rolled the dice and got him i was like you know what let's just do it there are some really nice comet goldfish there's actually like a a pinkish one right in there if you can see them right there like a total it's almost like a transparent pink color there are some orange and white ones which I'm a big fan of the orange and white ones we have the viewing tub if you will there you go guys there you go they're like what in the heck you're free to go look at all these fish, big fish in a small pond. 25 comic goldfish and one butterfly koi Okay, so the experiment here is, if these fish die, we know for a fact that it has something to do with the PVC liner, which is the white liner that you see right there. So we will keep a close eye on these fish the next, you know, two or three days. I'll keep you guys posted, of course. And I'm super excited. You see a group of them right there and a group of them right here. I wonder how long it is before they start swimming around. They're just kind of hanging out right now. This guy right here is kind of going solo. We'll call this guy Justin Timberlake, breaking away from, you know, in sync over here. Justin, ain't no lie. Baby, bye, bye, bye. So, Hannah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video behind me, the above ground pond. All 26 fish are doing great, so far so good. I will keep you posted within the next couple days, two or three days, I'll be posting daily on my Instagram. If you guys want more content, go to my Instagram. I post numerous times every day on Instagram, whether it be my stories or whether it be just regular posts on Instagram. So if you guys want more of me, go over to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and don't forget about the giveaway too, okay? Woo, man, look at these custom crowns. I can't believe it. Brother Kanoa came through Island Silver Crown, the dopest company for making crowns in the world. I'm just going to go ahead and say that, all right? In the world. Much mahalo, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned when we get the bog filter hooked up. But I got so much content flowing right now. Don't worry. You guys are going to be super satisfied, okay? Because I'm going to be banging out some more bangers. I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. Next, that subscribe button is a little bell. It's a notification. Now, I know some of you guys are probably asking. Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking. Now, I know some of you guys are probably saying, so, so where's the bog filter at? Truth of the matter is.